What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the front end series that I'm making and today we'll be talking about call versus apply versus bind methods and how to use them and explain them in your interviews. So let's just dive right into the topic and as you guys can see I have my screen over here. I have the ID opened up and we can just start off by creating an object. Let's call it student and let's say that the student has a first name. We can say it's Mozum which is my first name. We can give it a last name which is Salman and then we can also give it an age let's say 22. And now what I want to do is that I want to create a function that tells us the grade of our student and we can say that tell grade is the name of the function and we can make a function it takes in a grade as an argument and what it does is that it logs out logs it out on the screen we can log out the first name and then give it a space and we can say this dot first name and then we can say this dot last name and then we can say got a grade of and then we can add grade at the end and now if i were to call this function normally let's say over here and just give it an argument of a we can see now that i run it that i get undefined undefined got a grade of a and why is that because if i try to currently log out this in my function what i'm going to get is basically the windows object if i call my function normally that this object basically becomes the window object in our normal situation so you can see we have all the global and the set interval set timeout over here now what our goal really is is that we want to replace that window object that is currently assigned to the this inside of that function call with our own custom object and that is where call apply and bind come into play so what i can do is that when i call my function let's say tell grade dot call i can pass in the object that I want to be associated by the this. So we can say we can call student as the object. And how I would really pass my argument is we just put a comma and after that we can assign all of our arguments. So let's say I can just put in A over here. And now if I try to run my code, we can see that our first call, which is the way that we do it incorrectly, gives us the Windows object. Whereas in our second call, we get the student object assigned to our this. So we get Mozum Salman got a grade of A. And now how the argument system works is that we can keep on stacking on arguments. So if I had, let's say, grade two, then we can just separate all of the arguments by commas. And how I really help uh, myself to remember this is that in call, the function name actually starts with a C. So we can say call is for commas. So we separate the arguments by commas. If we were to do it the same way with apply, it's literally the same thing. But the only difference is that in apply, we have to pass in the arguments inside of an array. So you might have guessed it by how I remember it is that apply is for array because the first letter starts with an A. And now the bind is a bit different than call and apply is that it does not directly invoke our function. Rather, it returns a function which we can invoke later. So we can say func is equal to tell grade dot bind and then we can pass in student and then in bind we also have to pass in the arguments separated by commas. So we can say A and then if I try to run this piece of code, I can notice that it prints two times Mozum Salman got a grade of A, Mozum Salman got a grade of A, but it does not print the third time. And to print that, what I'll have to do is I'll have to call the func, which is the function that is being returned by the bind. So if I run this again, we can see that now it printed it out three times. So this is basically the difference between call, apply and bind. And how I remembered that bind actually takes in arguments separated by commas is that bind has the same amount of letters as call. So they have the same way to take in arguments. So that's how I remembered it. So that is pretty much what you need to know about call apply and bind in an interview setting if you're able to convey this to your interviewer this the differences between how the arguments are taken and how they functionally work then you will be able to clear this interview question with no problem i hope that you found this video to be insightful please keep supporting my channel by liking this video and subscribing to the channel and as always see you guys in another video